This is Mrs. Prybell, and this is Brindy, our puppy. She's only two months old, and she's a golden doodle. But today, I want to share one of my favorite books with you, and it's called my The Couch Potato, and it's from written by J Rory John and Pete Oswald, and it's a New York Times bestseller. So... Hopefully, we'll get to read through this book without a certain little doggy bothering us. Okay, so this is called A Couch Potato, The Couch Potato. Here we go. I am a potato, not a small potato like my brother, not a sweet potato like my mother, not a mashed potato like my uncle Stu. I am a couch potato. Oh yeah, it's true. My favorite place to slouch is on the couch. I spend all my free time sitting in this exact spot. <sighs> See? I have my doggy, I have the remote, I have a, this, I have one of these, I have one of these, and this, and that, and these. Oh, and this, check it out. This button activates a gadget that fetches me snacks whenever I want. Bam! impressed and i don't have to move as an inch much easier than going to the kitchen it is the most important thing in life is to be comfortable at all times then i think i've got it all figured out <sighs> but wait there's more i haven't revealed the absolute best part about my whole setup. It's everything you see in front of me. Have a look. Have a look around. Take it all in. Pretty spectacular, right? Yes. It's a sea of shimmering screens from wall to shining wall. What joy, what bliss. These screens feature my favorite shows. This screen has all my unanswered messages. These other screens is where I play my video games. And this screen is the live stream of my friends, my best spud for life. This, this is how my pals and I spend quality time together. It's much easier than trying to meet up somewhere like folks did in the old days. That's for sure. Yes, from this very couch, I can control everything in my life all the time. Just with just a few taps and a couple clicks. Not bad, eh? <sighs> yes, siri. This is the life. At least that's what I thought until the other day. Something strange happened. There was a knock at the door. It was a delivery. Whew. It was my newest device, a video camera that would allow me to watch myself react while I was watching all my favorite shows. All I had to do was plug it in and my room, nay, my kingdom would be complete. But suddenly, everything went dark. Look out. 
coming through. Whoops. Ah. Ouch. Whoop. I happened and managed to make it to the window. I pulled back the curtain. The sun seemed brighter than I remembered. There was nothing better to do. So I decided to take my dog, Tater, or Brandy, for a walk outside. It had been a long while. Everything was so vivid like a high resolution 156 inch curved screen with even more but even much more realistic something smelled fresh after a few moments i realized that it was air i heard a noise some chirps a ringtone perhaps but no i looked up to see some birds I wandered down the street from block to block and across the neighborhood. Eventually, I found a park with a little hill. There was a massive tree on top. It looked like a desktop background, only it was real. Neat. I leaned against the tree. It wasn't as comfortable as my couch, not even close. But after a while, it wasn't so bad. Ah. Any worries about the power outage and what I might be missing drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favorite shows or my unanswered messages or anything really. I noticed the stillness, the view, the sky the clouds, the sunset, and those colors, my goodness. It took a while, but there was no fast forward option. But eventually the sun sank below the horizon. By the time I got home, by the time I got home, the power was back on. I sat back on the couch. I hit the button to brush my teeth. I pulled the lever to change into my pajamas. I turned a knob to watch a bedtime story. Then I noticed my reflection in one of the screens. I wondered how much of my life had been spent in that very spot. It was then and there that I made the decision to peel myself off the couch a bit more often, maybe every day even. And so, and so that's what I've done. I started hanging out with my friends, my best buddies, outside we started biking we're, we're hiking and swimming and hiding and seeking sometimes we have snacks and play board games sometimes we talk all day we might watch the clouds there's no big plan we just see what happens it makes me wonder what if I don't always need to be totally comfortable? What if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadgets and the world outside? Because it turns out that I'm more than just a couch potato. I'm an amusing potato. I'm a smart potato. I'm a kind potato. And I'm, a, I'm an entertaining potato. And I'm going to sit on a hill and watch the sunset potato. Yep. There's a big world out there. 
and I want to be a part of it in person. But don't get me wrong, at the end of a long day, after I run and played and talked and laughed with my friends, I still think it's awfully nice to slouch on the couch. Just like this. <sighs> the end. Good night. Now that you've read a good book, see you at school tomorrow. Bye, guys. I hope you enjoy the couch potato.